Clinically Speaking is our advisor series of short videos featuring clinical updates from vitality clinicians and experts in their fields. Hi, and welcome to Clinically Speaking. In this episode, we'll be tackling mental well-being. If your client experiences a mental health issue, you want them to be able to gain access to the support that they need really fast. Private medical insurance can provide early interventions, including mindfulness, and promote better lifestyle choices in a way that improves both physical and mental well-being. If needed, talking therapy is a highly effective treatment for a range of conditions, most commonly anxiety and depression, and this is provided by trained medical professionals. In this episode, we'll demystify terms like cognitive behavioral therapy and talking therapy and consider the role that private medical insurance can play in supporting the mental health of your clients. So talking therapy would involve talking to a trained professional about what's going on in your life and how you would like to achieve things from therapy. Therapy will help you identify any unhelpful behaviours, understand and challenge thoughts, along with giving you the space to discuss what's going on in your life at present. So the main talking therapies are firstly guided self-help, which involves using self-help material with your therapist on a weekly basis to learn tools and techniques to help manage your mental health symptoms. So these symptoms could be things like panic, depression, anxiety or stress. These sessions would last up to half an hour. We also have eye movement desensitisation and reprocessing or EMDR as it's more commonly known, which is a therapy that is used to help process negative images and body sensations which are associated with a traumatic incident or memory. There's also counselling, which is working with your therapist to help you find ways to deal with your emotional issues. Counselling can help with bereavement, relationship breakdowns, or to help with an adjustment or change in your life. We also offer CBT as well. So cognitive behavioural therapy or CBT is a talk and therapy focused on the here and now, which aims to make positive changes to how you manage your difficulties. CBT helps you to understand the relationship between what you think, feel, and the physical responses in your body and how you behave. These areas are all connected and have an impact on each other. When we're experiencing emotional stress, we may get stuck in a vicious cycle whereby the things we do to help deal with the problem inadvertently keep the problem going. Such coping mechanisms are further reinforced as they tend to help us in the short term, however they maintain and reinforce problems in the long term. CBT aims to provide you with the tools to help you to break the cycle and allows you to deal with the difficulties independently. So talking therapies can be needed for a range of difficulties you may find yourself in, which are affecting your mental health at any age in your life. For example, you may be suffering from anxiety surrounding delivering a piece at work on time, going through a divorce, struggling to come to terms with a traumatic incident, or you may have had difficulties coming to terms with the death of a loved one, which is making you feel low in mood. A lot of people may notice that they have increased physical symptoms prior to noticing a problem with their mental health. Physical symptoms could include tearfulness, agitation, increased heart rate, and headaches to name but a few. Talk and therapies are there to support you so that you are not on your own and give you the tools and techniques to move forward. So the most suitable form of therapy is decided to follow an assessment to get an understanding of your problems, which is completed collaboratively with you and your therapist. Throughout your assessment and treatment, your therapist will discuss your goals and needs so that treatment can be tailored to you. Talk and therapies have been shown to work well for many people. The therapy that we provide is recommended by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, or NICE as it's known. It provides evidence-based treatment for particular mental health problems. For example, cognitive behavioural therapy or CBT would be used to help members with symptoms of depression and anxiety. So mental health therapy can be delivered via a range of means and can be via telephone, virtual on a computer screen where you can see your therapist or face to face in person. This would be discussed with the member on contact with our service. By promoting good mental health and well-being, we can help to prevent poor or ill mental health from occurring. And there are many ways that we can do this. One way is to start by looking at our health holistically. Are we eating well? Are we moving our bodies? Are we getting a good night's sleep? Another way is to talk about our feelings. And talking about our feelings can help us to process troublesome thoughts and help us to cope during times when we feel overwhelmed and troubled. And taking a break when we need to, or better yet, before that need occurs. Even short pauses during your day can be really helpful or taking a full lunch break away from your work. There are many things that we can do to help to promote our mental health and well-being. Not everything is going to work for everyone. So try to make the time to find out what works for you and do those things that bring you joy. Now, mindfulness is a quality. It's about being fully present and engaged in the present moment. 
in whatever it is that we're doing, sensing or feeling, without any interpretation or judgment. And there are many benefits to practicing mindfulness. It can help to relieve stress and anxiety. It can also help to improve our sleep, focus and concentration. There are a number of ways that we can practice mindfulness. And one way is through mindfulness meditation. And this can include things like focusing on your breath or through a body scan. If you're new to meditation, you might find a guided meditation more helpful. And through practicing meditation, we can learn to be more mindful and present throughout the day.